Now it's time for a couple of pro tips. First up, here's a quick guide to picking out the right insulation for your home. Hey guys, in today's pro tip, we're gonna talk insulation. And it's not all the same. We've got two main types out there when we're looking at putting something inside a wall. We've got our fiberglass stuff, it's either white or pink. Those are the two common brands out there. And there's this new stuff that's been out for a few years. It's a spun mineral wool made by Rockwool. And there's some differences with this stuff. Now, the secret of insulation is the air that it traps inside of it that gives you that insulating value. The one thing I don't like about the fiberglass is you gotta be really careful because I can compress this pretty easily. And the more you compress it and jam it in the wall, the less insulating value it has. This stuff here is a lot thicker. So when you put it in there, it does a better job of insulating. But there's some other things that I really like about it that make it even better in the Pacific Northwest here. One, it doesn't soak up water. It comes right off the top of it. It just runs right off the back like it's a duck's back. It is cool and it doesn't get all soggy and nasty. That means it's gonna stay insulating when it's even wet. But here's the other part that I really like about it is the fire resistance. I'm gonna put on a welding glove here so I don't get my hand too hot. If I go to the dry side right here, I'm not hurting this thing at all. So if I had an electrical problem in the wall or something like that, this isn't gonna catch on fire. And that's gonna be something that's very, very durable. I take the heat away, no flame. So that's a great safety addition to any home. So do some research. What are you trying to figure out what you're gonna do for your insulation? There's a right product for it. This stuff here is quieter and more energy efficient with a lot of safety that goes along with it. It's the rainy season here in the Pacific Northwest and humidity is your biggest enemy. Here's how to combat it. All right guys, and today's pro tip, it's a big one this time of year, and that is controlling humidity inside your home. Now humidity is all around this time of year, especially when we have all this rain and moisture outside. Because as we turn on fans, we're pulling that moisture inside which means we're adding humidity inside the home. So if you come in with wet clothes or you're doing a bunch of stuff like that, that can be a big problem. Here's the thing, when we get above 60% humidity, we end up creating a situation where mold loves to grow, which means we create an unhealthy environment inside the house. Dust mites, things like that, they love to thrive in that. And that can be a big problem to you, your family and the structure. So here's the thing that I recommend you do. If you've got a smart thermostat, that is gonna at least tell you right where that humidity is at the part of the thermostat. But if you've got a crawl space or a basement or other places in the home, you wanna really make sure and measure it. And there's an easy way to do it. Jump online and get one of these. This is an outdoor weather station. And they're very inexpensive, but what you can do is take the sensor and put it around in different places and see what that is. Like this one right here, outside it's 91% humidity. So if I opened up my windows and doors right now and let that in, I'm gonna have mold growing inside the house. But I'm keeping it at 58% inside, which is right below the minimum standard. So one thing you can do to control it is make sure that you're using the bath fans and stuff after taking a shower or bath. And then if you've got a really humid situation like a basement or a crawl space, add in a built-in style dehumidifier. That way when it gets above 60, it'll kick on and take it down to a safe level. This is gonna really help you in the comfort of your home and it's gonna be a heck of a lot safer for you in the long run. And humidity, you feel it like you do temperature. So when it feels stuffy and it's 70 degrees, you probably have high humidity. If it's cold in 70, it's probably low humidity. So pay attention, your body's telling you something and that's gonna make a healthier home.